Dear students, see the next one from 11th standard, motion in a plane chapter. So here we are going to discuss, we are going to discuss so that is the applications of vector components. In the vector components you know that uh, generally maybe in the horizontal component and the vertical component like that we discussed. Okay. Uh, that horizontal and vertical component then how to image okay so first of all that only we are going to learn depends upon the situation okay so now uh, as applications I'm going to discuss uh, uh, in this video three cases that one is uh, like a block okay so it is like a block okay so uh, in the block uh, now it is uh, on the plane surface is on the plane surface or otherwise it is like in the simply on the surface okay it is a horizontal surface so this is on a horizontal surface on the horizontal surface one plane is there one sorry one block is there so now I'm going to find or otherwise I'm going to apply some force okay I'm going to apply some force act on the I'm going to apply the force on the block okay so up to the lower standard level let us take let us take on now uh, one block it is a block now we are going to apply the force so the force means we know only one value some newton that's all okay so up to the ninth standard level you know uh, some uh, 10 newton force acting 100 newton force is acting on the body that's all so that the displacement direction applied force direction is same like that we studied. But now that force also we have to use as a vector component. Okay, it is acting as in that two components. That one is uh, what is it? A horizontal component and another one is vector component. Even say for example, I I'll throw this object. I throw this object. Okay. Um, for example, now I throw this object in this manner. Okay, so now we know this is the velocity, this is the velocity direction, this is the velocity, like that only we know. But if you analyze as a vector components, here two each and every moment, each and every moment, two velocities there. That one is horizontal velocity, another one is vertical velocity, then this combination both combined together we can get the resultant velocity okay so like that we are going to discuss later so uh, I'm going to explain only for this block okay after the one block at the beginning it is surface here okay it is on some surface okay the block is on the surface okay it is a block okay right so let us imagine here that is a um, two components. If it is a force, means force component, force related components. Velocity means velocity related components. Acceleration means acceleration related components. So, like that, let us imagine. I'm going to give the example for the force. Okay. So, here it is that force component. Okay. The force component, it is a horizontally. Okay. And then this one is vertically. Okay. So the horizontal component we know that that is F cos theta. How you know this is horizontal component? So you know this is horizontal, this is vertical means this is you know that this is what actually resultant this is F. Then this one you know that is a F cos theta. This one you know F sin theta. Then I will come angle. Here it is the angle. Already I gave one shortcut idea. The theta is the angle then over cos theta over. Okay, so don't forget. So here you know this is F cos theta. Okay, so here the vertical component, sorry, this is the horizontal component or horizontal force. Horizontal component, horizontal component or horizontal force that is F cos theta. Okay, like that this one is the vertical. Okay, it's a vertical component. So vertical component or vertical force that is F sin theta. Okay, so this is you know that this is a resultant resultant. This is the resultant force. 
the resultant force is what? F. So horizontal force or horizontal component is F cos theta. Vertical force or vertical component is, you know that, that is F sin theta. And then resultant force, that is F. Okay? So, like, like this, it is the origin of the application. Not exactly application. It is the origin of the application. In where they gave some problems, the based on the block diagram. Okay, so initially you should know this idea. Okay, that uh, how to resolve the vector. Okay, so this idea is must for that only I gave us these applications of the comment. Okay, so especially in the uh, law of force lesson. Okay, we are going to discuss more more part along with the block block diagram. Okay. So, in that lesson, so we are frequently we are using this kind of components. Not only in the horizontal plane, even the inclined plane also. So, if it is inclined plane, how we can write? So, that is, I introduce the next one. That is block on inclined plane. Simply, I wrote as inclined plane for understanding purpose. But actually what? Block on the inclined plane. So, the first example, it is a plane. It is a block but in the second example the same situation but inclined upper here making some angle some theta angle is making okay see that now it is a plane it's not an incline so now incline 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 okay in the incline plane see that plane, how it is moving so now let's we discuss about that our inclined plane. So this is inclined surface. Okay. This is inclined surface. Let us image it. On the inclined surface. Okay. So on the inclined surface, let us imagine. Um, so on the inclined surface, let us imagine one block. The same diagram only here. Okay. So now let us imagine one block. Okay. Now it is a block. Okay. Listen, students. Here, you know very well. Um, actually, uh, it is the inclined plane. It is the block. It is the normal. It is what normal. Is normal. So we are going to use in the fifth chapter frequently. Okay, it is a normal, so it is a person by him. Okay, you forget that one now. Okay, right. And the next one, we know very well each and every particle of this block it is affected by the gravity. So you know very well the gravity direction. How to draw the gravity direction? Gravity direction, you know that. Exactly towards the earth. So it is towards the earth. So it is simply represented by mg. Because, because the gravity. Okay, we feel as a weight. It is mg. Okay, then the next one. So you know, in this diagram, this is the resultant force. This is two component. Like that, this is like a resultant value. This is resolved into two components. Okay, the first component is here one component. Then second component is here one component. Same thing. See that in the body. Believe it. G. So what is this? What is this? Suppose if it is theta here, what will come? This is known as mg cos theta. This is known as mg sin theta. That's all. Instead of force here, mg is there. Okay? Because of the weight. So, whether theta will come here or here, that is the next one. See there? Here, you know, it is inclined plane. How we know this inclined angle? It is a plane. Horizontal plane, not inclined. Now it is inclined. So here making an angle is what? Theta. So here making an angle is what? Theta. 
So this is theta means, so this is also theta. Understand? So opposite angle. So this is also what theta will come. So this is theta will so theta pakadana will come mg cos theta. So this is you know as that is mg cos theta. So this is mg cos theta means this is what? mg sin theta. So that diagram only I draw here. This is a theta, theta, mg cos theta and mg sin theta. Okay? Right. So whether it is rectangular components or not, you yes, see that this one rectangular components. Like that this is also rectangular components. Okay, see that. That's all. This is also rectangular components only. Understand? Then one more thing. If we observe this diagram, this f cos theta, this is a we can say that that is a horizontal component or horizontal force. F sin theta is vertical component or vertical force. Like that here, we want to learn one important idea. This force is if this is actually perpendicular to the inclined plane. If it starts for again, perpendicular to the inclined plane. See that this is mg cos theta. Mg cos theta, clear ka? Mg cos theta. See that clear ka? Parne. It is the inclined plane. Okay, you forget this. See that this is inclined plane. This is mg cos theta. Okay, this is mg cos theta. Correct? Ha? This is inclined plane, this is mg cos theta, this is actually what? 90 degree, that is a perpendicular. So mg cos theta is perpendicular to the inclined plane, that is important point. So mg cos theta is perpendicular to the inclined plane. Okay, like that, see that mg sin theta. See that this is the plane. Okay, this is the block. This is mg sin theta. So mg sin theta. So please listen, students. This inclined plane, that mg sin theta is parallel. So we can say this mg sin theta is parallel to the inclined plane. This mg sin theta is parallel. So this is parallel symbol. This is perpendicular symbol. This is parallel symbol. So parallel to the inclined plane okay okay students I hope you got some idea the how to uh, to find the resultant value sorry the how to divide as a component in the block alone on the inclined horizontal plane sorry horizontal plane and the next one block on the inclined plane okay the next one the third one uh, we are going to find for the simple bundle next one the third application that is simple bundle simple bundle okay you know first application they got the block second application block on the inclined plane the third one in the simple pendulum okay so you know very well in the simple pendulum okay uh, at least you know oh, there is a structure so one bob is there it will be connected with the thread okay it's suspended by the thread so you know the structure so it is the thread so you know this is the bob it will be connected with this actually oh, you know that this is length of the thread this is up to here the radius of the bob length of the thread plus radius of the bob this combination only actually we call as that is length of the pendulum okay not uh, length of the thread alone length of the pendulum okay that is not like that length of the thread plus radius of the bob these two combination only length of the pendulum okay so now in this in this uh, question so let's i'm going to explain this diagram first first of all let us take one the point of suspension okay this is the point of suspension so this is point of suspension 
So let's take a thread, it will be connected into the bob. It is a thread, okay? It is a bob. Okay, I connected it with the bob. It is the center of the bob. Okay, right. So now, let us imagine. Um, just I have to leave the bob from here, so it will be oscillate. It will be oscillate like this. Thread or not, it will be oscillate. So when the bob is reach the maximum height or the maximum amplitude so now you know uh, that the bob is okay maybe the bob is here okay so now the bob is here okay now the bob is here so you know that this is the length of the pendulum okay Okay, so now this is you know it is like length of the pendulum. Okay, so now it is a bob. The bob is oscillate like this. Okay, so when the bob is reached here, so let's we compare this height with the initial position. So this is L, okay, but this is not L. This is some way. Then here the displaced here up to here actually displaced. Okay, so this cap I noted as X. I don't know, so I take as X. Okay, this is length of the pendulum, no doubt. This is X that displays this. Okay, from the uh, what is that? From the initial stage, and then now the position is what? That is X horizontally. Okay. Then here making an angle is what? This is a theta. It is known as theta. And then that one more point, it is theta means, let us imagine, let us imagine, here let's me draw the two components, okay, I draw the two components, so please listen, so it is a two components, so the one is here, it is the making an angle is what, theta, this is theta, so this is also theta, you know very well, okay, but this is theta, but you know theta now. So the same thing would be, the same thing would be, this is theta, so here also theta. theta Yes, that is, that is cos theta. That is cos theta. Then one more thing, while we will leave this object, here the tensile force will be developed. Tensile force, the thread will be, the tensile, tensile force is developed. So that tensile force I noted as that is T. So this is T means this is what? T cos theta. Okay, so this angle with the T cos theta, but either with the T cos theta, here the one more thing is developed. Okay. So this is T cos theta means, what about this? Yes, this is T sin theta. This is no, this is T sin theta. So please listen students. This one T cos theta, this one T sin theta. Okay, in the diagram, angle the length the tensile force T developed by So regarding the two components, that is T cos theta, T sin theta. Okay. Then one more thing, this T cos theta, horizontally it is moving, okay, in the horizontal manner it is moving, so it is known as, it is equal to as a force, okay, now let me put it in there, either one to force that and set one triangle, for force not one of them, T sin theta not one of them, and now one will report the mother, but it will depend on the due towards the force, then one more thing, vertical, if you have a number of people, you can see number of Vertical number is no Can you remember? Vertical number is no That is mg. mg. That is mg. T cos theta is mg. That is f and t sin theta. You understand? Okay. Now, you can see the same thing. This is x and which is 
இது என்னன்னு வச்சுக்கிட்டேன் அப்ப இது என்ன இந்த கேப் மட்டும் அது மட்டும் நோட் பண்ணிட்டா போதுமா திஸ் இஸ் லைக் வாட் திஸ் இஸ் லைக் in this right triangle this is l this is what this is x then what about this so we know very well l square is equal to id enna nenu theriyum nu vechukla idu or y nu vechukla so y squared plus x squared so i need this y square only so y squared is equal to l squared minus x squared therefore y is equal to whole root of l squared minus x squared and now okay so now i can try it okay so please i write this l square root of l squared minus x squared this is what this gap is what this is gap is what root of l squared minus x squared this is due to from pythagoras theorem so now this diagram analysis is over ஓகே இப்படி நம்ம பிளாக் டைக்ராமில் காஸ்டா சைன்டிட்டா போட்டோம் அதே மாதிரி பிளேனில் எப்படி காஸ்டிட்டா சைன்டிட்டா போட்டோம் அதே மாதிரி இந்த சிம்பிள் பெண்டு வந்து எப்படி அனாலிஸ் பண்ணுறது பார்த்தாச்சு இப்போ டெரிவேஷன் போகலாம் ஸோ இன் திஸ் டெரிவேஷன் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு ஃபைண்ட் ஒன் ரிசல்டன்ட் வேல்யூ ரிசல்டன்ட் வேல்யூ என்ன இந்த ஃபோர்ஸ் கண்டுபிடிக்க போகிறோம் இன்னொன்று டென்ஷனல் ஃபோர்ஸ் இது ரெண்டும் கண்டுபிடிக்க போகிறோம் ஓகே ஹவு டு ஃபைண்ட் த டென்ஷனல் ஃபோர்ஸ் அண்ட் வட் இஸ் த ரிசல்டன்ட் ஃபோர்ஸ் வேல்யூ கண்டுபிடிப்பா இட் இஸ் அ வெரி வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் அப்ளிகேஷன் வி ஆர் யூஸிங் இன் லா ஆஃப் ஃபோர்ஸஸ் ஆல்சோ ஓகே லா ஆஃப் ஃபோர்ஸ் லெசன் ஃப்ரீக்வெண்டாக யூஸ் பண்ணுவோம் ஓகே சி தட் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஓகே இஃப் யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் த டைக்ராம் த டெலிவேஷன் இஸ் நத்திங் சரி சி தட் சி தட் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஒன் த ஹரிசாண்டல் டென்ஷன் பண்ணி த ஹரிசாண்டல் டென்ஷன் ஹரிசாண்டல் டென்ஷன் இஸ் டி சைன்டிட்டா நெக்ஸ்ட் வெர்டிக்கல் டென்ஷன் Vertical tension is what? T cos theta. Next, when the bomb is in equilibrium. Equilibrium is what? That's why you have to use a ball. How do you use a ball? So let us imagine this is like a ball. Okay. Okay, this is a ball. Ball is like a ball. After reaching certain position, after reaching the maximum amplitude, you can use a ball. So in this position, consider as equilibrium position okay so in that equilibrium position i can say equilibrium position and the other be equal to t cos theta of mg equal f o t sin theta equal to the number pair t sin theta of f o equal so that is equation consider as one next t sin theta equal to mg t sin theta equal to mg that's all it is very simple equation One year only divided by two. Equation one divided by two. So t sin theta divided by t cos theta. T sin theta divided by t cos theta. What happen? T t will be cancelled. Sin theta divided by cos theta. What? Tan theta. Now here f by f g. F by m g. Are you clear? So therefore I need f now. Therefore f is equal to m g tan theta. Apa f is equal to m g tan theta. Tan theta is equal to. பண்ணுங்க the next one the tensile force tensile force i saw like that the first i will do so let's take any one equation from tensile force if i end the equation with lama t cos theta equal to mg i can use see that t cos theta equal to mg so t equal to mg divided by cos theta so t equal to mg divided by cos theta if i put tan theta and put it they will end up putting cos theta and put it here will be cos theta and put it here will be cos theta okay theta is equal to cos theta formula what cos theta is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse adjacent what adjacent is root of l square minus x square see that then divided by hypotenuse hypotenuse is what that is l that is l so mg divided by whole root of l square minus x square then divided by l 
that L is moving in the numerator become we can write as T equal to MGL divided by MGL divided by root of L square minus X square. So that is tensional force value. So now you know the force value and the tensional force value that's all. Then one more way, it is the one more resultant way, resultant value for tensional force. Equation 1 and 2, you should be square and add. So t sin square theta whole square plus t is a cos square theta whole square. So t square is common. So when you say the bracket, sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to f square plus mg whole square. So you know sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to what? From trigonometry, 1. Therefore t square equal to f square plus mg whole square. Therefore t is equal to whole root of f square plus mg whole square. So this is also formula for the tensile force. Okay. Okay students, here the diagram only only very very important. So now we so this kind of questions, there's so many applications we'll be asking. Okay, the simple pendulum uh, we are using in moving car, the simple pendulum we are using in the space, the simple pendulum we are using in the lift. So like that so many questions is there. It is uh, mostly asking in the need, need based questions also, need and I the exam. Okay, so for that kind of applications based questions, it is a highly basic, basic model. Okay, thank you.